welcome back to another Sunday reset routine. We are just going to be doing what we normally do on a Sunday or even a Monday just to prepare for the week ahead. I don't have a lot of like meal prepping this week that I'm going to be doing, but I do plan on doing some of that later on. But in this video, I'm just going to be doing some cleaning, grocery shopping, a little bit of organizing, and I have a meal idea. So let's get started. I'm breaking out the crock pot this morning because we're gonna be having Mississippi pot roast tonight for dinner using chicken instead of a roast. This is definitely a staple in our house. So you take a couple of pounds of chicken, get a pack of dry ranch seasoning, a pack of au jus seasoning, a stick of butter, some pepperoncinis, and throw it all in the crock pot. Let it cook on low for seven or eight hours and it is so good. Since I'm planning on going to the grocery store, I am gonna be taking out anything that's old or about to expire, just like leftovers from this past week that haven't been eaten. I'm gonna get rid of all of that just so I can start fresh when I go grocery shopping. Also, so I don't have to work around a lot of clutter in the fridge. already sorted out the kids clothes to be washed so I'm gonna throw in their pile of whites along with some whites that me and Brandon had in there um, and then I'm gonna head to the grocery store I normally don't leave the house when the washing machine is going because once the cycle is done I don't want wet clothes just sitting in there for a long time but I'm not gonna be gone long so it'll be fine Now that the kids have been back to school for a couple weeks, we're back on our school schedule or our school routine at home. So what I picked up today is a bunch of little things that they can microwave on their own after school as like little snacks because they come home starving. So um, you'll see, I'll give you guys an overview of everything I got. We went to Publix a few days ago and picked up all of our fresh produce, so I was good in that department. I did get a ton of frozen veggies though. We always have those on hand at all times. And then just like a lot of little things that we were running low on, so coffee, 
shampoo and conditioner, leave-in conditioner, cereal, trash bags, all that stuff. So it's been a while since I cleaned out my freezer. I thought I was just going to wipe down the first drawer and then it just kind of trickled down and I ended up cleaning out pretty much the entire freezer, which is fine because I needed to do it anyway. So the kids have been into making their own breakfast in the morning before school. On the weekends, we usually would cook breakfast, but for school, they like the idea of doing it themselves and I actually like that too. But they also know that I will cook breakfast for them if they want something different. In case you guys are wondering, we actually have another fridge in our pantry. So the freezer portion of that fridge just holds all of our meats, our proteins, anything leftover or like our overflow. And then the fridge portion just holds all of our drinks. So all the kids sparkling waters, juice boxes, all of our condiments, that kind of stuff lives in that fridge. So I have a child who loves robotics and robots, building things, figuring out how things are made. And I thought I would show you guys this. He's making like a solar powered robot that's gonna be moving and doing all this. I don't know what it does. So if you see a lot of stuff on the table, it's because he's in the middle of creating something really cool. I'm gonna use the other half of our table to fold clothes because I need to get that done. And also I think at this time, there was something on TV that I was watching. So I didn't wanna take all the clothes upstairs and fold it. So that's why I'm using the table. Till 6 a.m. Wrote five songs all just for you. Three of them I can barely listen to. i
right? Load number one is done, folded, and put away. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love to show you guys my PR packages from Liquid IV. The whole point of this PR package is to tell you guys that Liquid IV has come out with a kid's version of the hydration multiplier. It's pediatrician approved. I realized I never took them out of the box to actually show you guys, but they're pretty much like crystal light packets it's like a little to-go packet you just add it to one bottle of water and it gives you triple the hydration i just think it's really cool they came out with a kids version so if you have kids that aren't big water drinkers but they like flavored water and you don't want to keep giving them like gatorade and all those other flavored waters that have a lot of sugar in it try this one out they have some really good flavors perfect to take to school or if your kids are in sports my kids have loved all the flavors so far So one thing I need to do at the end of the week is vacuum and mop our floors in the entryway. That is the high traffic area. We don't wear shoes in our house, but the door on the left that you see is the door to our garage. And then the, win the door with the windows is our front door. And then the door on the right that you see is our shoe closet, mainly for the kids. So we have a lot of traction right here and I wanna make sure it's clean and I can tell when it needs to be mopped because my socks start getting dirty. So with the boys, and then their friends coming in and out all the time that area gets really dirty real quick once a week is definitely the minimum i do mop this area up to like three times a week sometimes especially since i got my new swiffer power mop that i showed you guys a few videos back it just makes things so much easier never up never down never like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool All right, now I'm in the powder room downstairs. It's right across from our door to the garage. I'm just gonna do a quick little clean in here. For the most part, I'm using Lysol wipes to clean the sink, the countertop, the toilet, and all of the like the light switches, the door handle, pretty much all the things that get touched on a daily basis. Wait up. Ain't got no time for that I've stayed up I was hoping that you would change your ways Wake up You blew your final chance Make up I'm trying but I cannot be mad at you I don't know how you got me weak I should leave this to give Your body's calling me for real My love's like an enemy Stay with to the morning when I'm lonely, yeah Cause you must trust me I can never do you wrong I take a bullet for you If I lose you I would not know what to do I've fallen for you hopelessly Hold on, I think I'm losing it 
right, so I'm back in the living room and I'm gonna spray down my couch and all of my decorative pillows with this fabric sanitizer by Clorox. I love using this when I have anything that I can't just easily throw in the washing machine. Really quickly, um, some of these pillows don't come with a removable pillowcase, so I just spray them down with this fabric sanitizer. It smells really good and it works. Remember the things that you told me They got me moving forward And all the times that we disagree Finishing off the Sunday reset with mopping the floor in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Special when I look back on us It's starting to sink in